So we talk about, no, in our first video, song, and why we have the song, because that will be the objective of the film. And at the same time, in your subject matter, it has to be taught, okay, as our guide in making decisions for the film. And technically speaking, uh, this profitability, solvency, activity, liquidity, and marketability as objective would be the basis of making decisions. What I would like you to note is the word quantitative and financial. So when we are going to provide information in making decision no? that will be useful to users, to your stakeholders, what I would like you to, to uh, differentiate is quantitative and financial. Because in having quantitative, these are figures. But not all figures are financial in nature. Because when you say financial, this will have monetary value. Okay? So, what I would like you to do as your experience point is give two samples of quantitative and two samples of financial. No? So, that uh, we know that you are able to differentiate. What is quantitative? These are figures, these are values. And when you say financial, these are figures, values that have monetary value. So our objective in FAR is to provide quantitative information that is financial in nature. And that would be the same also in CIFAS because, well, the conceptual framework is part of financial accounting and reporting. Even the next subject that you're going to take after CIFAS, and that is intermediate accounting, is part of financial accounting and reporting. Because in your, in your CIFALE, the title of the subject that you're going to take the board is financial accounting and reporting. Okay. And uh, what are the decisions that we have to make? I would like you to look at this. These are, you have to pass this decision. Kita nyo nga, pinag-usapan na natin kanina dun sa objective. Profitability, liquidity, and solvency. No? And where are we going to find profitability for us to be able to make decision? The statement of operations, the statement of cash flow, and the statement of financial position. Ano yung sabi natin? Ito yung gusto natin karelasyon. 3M. Ano yun? Mapera. Ayan o. Malakas. Mm. Aba, eh, kailangan din. Very productive. Ma-perform. Hindi naman, uh, hindi naman lahat ng malakas ma-perform. Ma'am, paano yun? Paano mo nasabing ganun, ma'am? Kasi, Para sabihin malakas ka, kaya mong isustain. Alam mo, di ba yung iba, uh, kayang gawin ang, uh, let's say, mag-repair ng uh, phone kalahating oras. Pero siya, yung the same problem, kaya lang na i-repair after one hour. Eh, sino yung mas ma-perform? Pero pareha silang malakas, kaya nilang gawin eh. Diba? Eh, di yung 30 minutos lang kaysa doon sa isang oras. Diba? Oh. So, iba yan. So, ang desisyon natin, it has to be passed. At ang hinahanap natin dyan ay yung mapera na, malakas pa, ma-perform pa. Okay? Now, since we're talking about decision, ano ang basis ng decision? Eh, kaya nga sabi natin, start and end in mind, the output. O yan. Kaya pinag-usapan natin yung pass. Kasi, ito ay tinatawag na financial statement. Doon mo makikita yung profitability sa financial statement. Yung activity, yung liquidity sa financial statement. At yung solvency sa financial statement. ba? Kaya, ang isang concern natin, when enough is enough. Kasi, kailangan alam mo where you're going to start and when you are going to end. Napakadaming pwedeng gawin sa mundo. At 
dapat al- calculated yung iyong movement para mas maging efficient ka. Hindi ko ano lang basta ang gusto mong gawin. But dapat alam mo kung saan ka talaga mag-uumpisa at kung kailan ka matatapos. Hindi ka magiging efficient kapag ka wayward ka. Diba? O, o hin- kung guided tayo, ano yun? Na dapat alam mo kailan ito complete. At kailan natin masasabi at ano? Talaga ba ma, may kailan na, may ano pa? Siyempre. For your decision to be effective, time is crucial. Kailangan nagagawa niyo ito sa panahong kailangan mo. Diba? O di ayan, ano na yon? Meron tayong limang financial statement. Sa iba, ang tawag ito income statement. Pero sa atin, anong tawag natin yan? Statement of operation. Yun ang appropriate term. Sa iba din, tinatawag ito na balance sheet, pero ang tawag natin dito ay statement of financial position, of which it includes the statement of changes in equity. no? And you have the statement of cash flow. Then, the, 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 you know, the policy, the explanation, it would be in the notes to financial statement. Okay, so the, ito yung minimum that we are going to provide no, to be construed as a complete set of financial statement. So let's go into the details of this financial statement. And with your statement of operation, it's all about the P's. Kasi diba sabi natin, P-A-S. O, oh, ayan na tayo sa P. Ano kaya yung mga P na yan, ma'am? performance. Tira sabi ko nga, gusto mo ka relasyon naman ma-perform, di man pwedeng inactive. Sasaya ka ba pag inactive yung ka-partner mo? It has to be an action man and woman. No? Abay, pag hindi man lang effort yung partner mo, mag-enjoy ka ba? Syempre hindi, no. Kailangan naman dalawa kayong nag-effort. Mm. Ano pa? Kaya effort, kaya effort niya, ma-perform siya you are also productive. Mas marami kang output. No ba? At, o oh, ito yung ginagamit natin sa accounting. Profitability. But performance and productivity are also the same as profitability. If you are not selling well, if you are not minimizing your expenses, can you be profitable? No. And if you are not producing, if you are not not able to give more services, more goods to your clients, are you going to be productive? No. Kasi ang, ang pangarap natin, mathematically, 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Ma'am, tama ba yung addition mo? Abay, oo naman, tama yan. Sa panutuklas, nang pag sinabi natin, ay itong 3 piece. O, eh, kaya nga sinabi ko, 1 plus 1, 3, 3. But, what is the technical term for that? You want to have synergy. Diba? Pag magkarelasyon. Pag nagkasama yan, magkarelasyon na yan. Nagmahalan. Pwede ba kayo maging tatlo? Abay, syempre. Ang produkto na yun yung pagmamahalan. Ayaw. Naging tatlo na kayo. Diba? Oh, so that is synergy. You would like... Yung, ma'am, sa, sa estudyante, na-apply namin yun. Yeah, you are applying that. Ano yun? Two heads are better than one. O di ba nagtutulungan kayo pag may mga project, pag may mga assignment, that synergy. Kasi the output of a person looking or rather working no, individually will be uh, dif- very much different. Pag, pag may kasama siya, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll be better in terms of time, then you are contributing each of your idea, O, di mas magiging maganda, di ba? O, kaya seek assistance if you need one. Yeah. So, that will be the statement of operation, your P. And let's go now to the details, no? But it's still a review. Ano nilalagay natin sa statement of operation? Revenue and cost. At the component of revenue ay sales. You're going to have sales if what you're selling will be goods. But if you are selling services... No, all you have to reflect it will be income, and you just have to call. Let's say, kung nagpaparent ka o di rent income, di ba? Or if you are a 
providing professional services or do you just have to uh, identify that these are your professional service fee? Diba? And once, when you use the word sale, that will be from your normal operation. Mama ni normal operation. Aba, e ang trabaho mo yung magbenta ng computer, nakabenta ka ng computer, o di sales yun. Ang trabaho mo e eh, mag-repair ng computer, o di income yun. Trabaho mo magbenta ng upuan, o di sales yun. Pero, yung nagbebenta ng computer, na, nag, na yung ginagamit nilang upuan sa opisina, e binenta niya, yun ang tinatawag na gain pag kumita siya at pag hindi siya kumita magiging loss yon okay so anything that is not part of the normal operation and you sell it and you earn from this that's what you call gain and that would be from the incidental operation of the firm okay uh, ano pa man pwede o nagbebenta ka ng ng computer eh sarili mo yung building pinarent mo yung ibang ano doon Uh, room oh that would be other income no that would be part of your gain and how about cost well cost will be expenses and losses and then how are we going to differentiate a cost from an expense and a loss isipin nyo ah but sa perspective ng layman's point of view, ano ang revenue? It's a benefit. No? Di ba lagi sinasabi, benefit versus cost? O yun. So, i-differentiate natin. No? Ano yung cost, ano yung expense, at ano yung loss? Dahil, uh, importante yun. At, uh, ang cost daw, hindi man daw, but ang cost ay, uh, mali yung gumamit ako sa lintang daw. Ang cost ay, It is presented in the statement of operation in the statement of financial position. And when you present it in the statement of operation, it will be an expense, a loss, and an asset. Talaga ba ma? Yes. Ano ang best sample dyan? Equipment. Or building. Why? You have, uh, in equipment, you have a depreciation. No? depreciation expense o di meron ka ng expense equipment is an asset well, yung accumulated depreciation it's a, a, a contra asset account eh, diba? e asa ng loss pag nanakaw yung equipment mo, loss okay e class experience point to kailangan sa buhay nyo bigyan nyo ako ng pinagkakagasto sa nyo kasi diba Itong cost, madalas sa atin, ang tawag ng mga tao, gastos. Tama? Na itong gastos pala na ito, tatlo ka pupuntahan o dalawa. Depende sa buhay mo. Pwede maging expense, pwede maging loss, pwede maging asset. O, bigyan nyo ako ng sample. Ha? Isang sample, sa buhay mo, na gumastos ka, na ito ay naging expense, na ito ay naging loss, at na ito ay naging asset. Pero dapat katulad nito, ha? isang event. Nakailan ito magiging expense, kailan ito magiging loss, kailan ito magiging asset. Gumastos ka sa pagbili ng equipment, naging expense to. Noong na-utilize ko siya at sinarge ko sa operation, yung depreciation expense, pagbili ko, asset, eh nanakaw yung equipment na binili ko dati, na asset ko, nawala'y asset, naging loss. O, ganun. Clear? Okay, so that would be our uh, experience point for that. Now, how do we define an expense? An expense is a with a benefit. A loss is without benefit. And an asset is you're expecting to have benefits. Okay, so with benefit, no benefit, and expect benefit. Ulit, with benefit, no benefit, and expect benefit. Okay, so... If that is our statement of operation, then our next video will be about the statement of financial position, which is, diba, tapos na tayo dun sa P, we're done with that, so now we will talk about the S. Okay, thank you and good day.